If you could get in a car, pick a destination 500 miles away, and then lay back and fall asleep and wake up there in the morning without ever lifting a finger, would you do it? My name's Samantha Lee. I'm a civil engineer, and I study shared autonomous electric vehicles and the way that they will impact the types of trips that we make and the way that we travel in the future. Understanding transportation trends is really crucial for a lot of things like planning infrastructure, developing land, planning freight routes for the movement of goods and food across the country, and just ensuring that people have access to the services and things they need every day. I became really interested in this field after learning that transportation is responsible for 28% of the energy consumption in the U.S., and it's also responsible for around 40% of the carbon dioxide emissions, so I really wanted to learn about ways that we can make this industry more sustainable. My research is specific to the anticipated use of shared autonomous electric vehicles or just fully self-driving cars. We predict that they can probably be privately owned or shared vehicles like Ubers. So we use surveys to the public to gauge how interested people are in this technology, how likely they would be to use it in the future, if it was accessible, and what types of trips they would be using it for. And with this information, we add it to a model so we can try to predict how that would change other travel trends. So we use travel demand modeling, which is a software that takes into account how many trips are being made in certain places, where they're going, what mode, what route, and we can change what's going into it and add the new mode of autonomous vehicles and see how that impacts the other choices that people would make and how it impacts the trips that are being made overall. So through all this research, we're hoping that we can find out how it changes people's trips altogether. And we want to gain insights on how transportation may change with these emerging technologies in the future. So we may find that the number of vehicle miles goes way up and that autonomous vehicles are consuming a lot of electricity. But at the trade-off, we have lower airplane usage, so lower emissions there. And so using these models, we can get a better idea of the future consumption of energy in the transportation sector, as well as observe trends so that we can better plan our transportation infrastructure. So there's a lot of really exciting stuff to look forward to in the future, and it's really cool to learn about. So if you have any questions, here's my email. Thank you.